Hello Math Champions and welcome to the FAST method of division. In just a moment, I'll be showing you how to do this FAST method, but you will need to understand something first. Okay? It is that plus and minus are the opposites of one another, and times and divide are also the opposites of one another. Okay? I will show you with an example. 1 plus 2, what does that equal to? It equals to 3. Now let's flip it around. 3 minus 2, what does that equal to? It equals to 1. And you can see here that plus and minus are actually the opposites. All right. The same is true for times and divide. Okay. So let's do three times two this time. What does that equal to? Okay. Three fingers on the two times table that will give you a two, uh, four, six. So the answer is six. All right. Now let's flip it around. Six divided by two this time. What does that equal to? Knowing that times and divide are the opposites the answer we know it's actually 3 but how do we get 3 i'll show you in the next section let's go so let's teach you the fast method now shall we so let's start with this 3 times 2 3 fingers on the 2 times table what would that give you 2 4 6 so the answer is 6 now let's flip it around and take 6 divided by 2 now what answer will we get? Of course we know the opposite, that both of them are the opposites already, so the answer should be 3, right? But I'm going to show you in just a moment how we get 3. All you have to do is take 2 times table and stop at 6, okay? Alright, you have to stop at the number 6. So we'll do our 2 times table until we hear the number 6. Ready? So let's go. 2, 4, 6. Okay, we have heard six, we stop and see how many fingers we are holding up. That is three. So three fingers. We held up three fingers and that is the answer. Okay, do you notice something again? The times and the divide are opposites of one another. Three, two, six, six, two, three. Okay, all right. So knowing this, let's move on to another example. Let's do the more difficult example now. What is 10 divided by 2 equals to? Alright, we'll do the 2 times table until we stop at 10. The answer will be the number of fingers we are holding up. Remember that? Okay, so let's do that. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. The answer is the number of fingers I am holding up. How many fingers am I holding up? That's 5. Alright, so the answer is 5. Be careful not to take 10 multiplied by 2, which will give you an answer of 20. That is wrong because we are doing divide not multiply okay let's have a more ex a difficult example now let's shift to the five times table let's take 15 divided by five what would that equal to you have to do your five times table until you stop at 15 the answer will be the number of fingers you are holding up so let's do the five times table now five ten fifteen stop how many fingers three so the answer is three Let's do another example. What is 60 divided by 10? Now, we'll do the 10 times table until we get 60 and then we stop. And the answer will be the number of fingers we are holding up. Okay, let's do the 10 times table. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So how many fingers? 6. Alright, so the answer is 6. Do you see that? In all these examples, remember not to take 15 multiplied by 5. Do not take 60 times 10. You will get all the wrong answers, okay? Just remember this technique and you'll be fine. Ready? Let's play a game. Enjoy. Three, two, one.